Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently uh, about quarter to 11 on Sunday the 16th of October. I'm currently reading The Duke of Caladan by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, which is the first in the newest June prequels trilogy. I actually didn't know these books even existed, so I'm very excited. And they focus on Duke Lee Toa Trades, who is a character who I enjoy reading about. So I'm gonna be cracking on with that over this week. I'm gonna try really hard to remember to film some vlog updates, but I've been sucking at it majorly. In my defense, I have a huge booktube list here, so I have 14 things to do while editing, and then 18 things to film. Um, but I'm gonna try and keep you guys up to date this week, so we'll see how that goes. Nothing major planned, just lots of work and reading. Dane reads. Greetings, people of the internet. I'm doing well. I remember to vlog. It is currently 5 6 on Monday, the 17th of October. I have a call with a client later at 5 pm. That should take an hour or so, give or take. Uh, I'm still reading what's it called? The Duke of Caledon by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Pretty good dent in so far. Looking forward to uh, reviewing this one as well. Been doing a few bits of editing and stuff. I've got this week's radio show edited and it doesn't go out till Wednesday And I've got the interview and all of the stuff recorded for next week's one so I can edit that ahead of time Got a couple of interviews lined up for tomorrow as well um, uh, So that's about where I am. I woke up this morning to a figure in black above my uh, bed But it turned out it was Shay. She came to visit me. She brought me a Starbucks which I have since consumed. Thank you Shay uh, then we went into town together, so I got some food. I'm gonna have uh, burgers later. I also got like a vegan salmon thing I've never tried, so I'm gonna try making salmon and chips. So that should be nice. Um, and yes, that's pretty much where I'm at. I don't think I've got anything else for you. Just cracking on, you know. I've been baking. Oh my God, you can tell because look at the fucking mess I've left on the floor and my legs. But I'm also making dinner, so I gotta go. Hello everybody, it is currently 5 to 10 on the evening of Tuesday the 18th of October. Uh, this week's radio show goes out tomorrow rather than today, um, but that's all edited and uploaded and good to go. Um, I have the next one ready to edit and I did an interview today which is very good. Um, and so in fact that one's ready to edit as well. I have two more interviews tomorrow, then another one on Thursday. Um, and then a couple more that I'm in the progress of like setting up dates for and stuff. So all good, all keeping on, keeping on. I'm still reading um, The Duke of Caladan by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. I'm about coming up to two thirds of the way through that now. I'm really enjoying it, so that's good. Um, audio book wise, I'm listening to The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins because I finished my, oh yeah, I finished uh, the, the Edible Woman by Margaret Atwood. That was a four out of five, very good. Um, so yeah, I'm listening to the Wilkie Collins one when I jog now. Very exciting. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to read next after June, actually. I've got Sophie Hannah, uh, Little Face, over there. So it might be that. I don't know. Yeah, it probably will be that, to be honest. We'll see. Um, and I need to decide what my next audiobook is going to be after Wilkie Collins, even though it's going to be a long old audiobook. It's a LibriVox one as well, which means it's all recorded by uh, volunteers. So it's not particularly good, but it's eight. Um, I woke up at like half three this afternoon uh, and Shay messaged me because she left her headphones here So I went to meet her in town and then she came back here. We had pizza uh, Like homemade pizza which turned out best. It's probably the best one I've made. I think um, I didn't film any of it because I was too busy eating it um, And now she's asleep because she had a really early early day and I am just cracking on and being productive um, I had a client call earlier I don't think I've got any client calls tomorrow yet. I don't have any that are booked yet. They might come in overnight though, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of productivity for the rest of the evening. So I'll, I'll catch you in a bit. Hello everybody, look at me go. I've done another day in a row. It is uh, Wednesday the 19th of October at 6.10 p.m. I am still reading The Duke of Caledon by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. I'm very near the end now, so that's good. I've been exercising. I've now, there was a point at which, because when I moved here, I slacked off on my exercise and I have like a daily a kind of how much exercise I want to do. And uh, so at one point I was owed, I owed 15,000 press ups and over 24 hours of jogging. I've now done all of the press ups and I only have just under an hour of jogging left to do, so that's good. Um, it does reset on Friday and then I'll have another week's worth of exercise to get through, but that's okay because at least I'll be ahead of things. 
all my uh, housework is done. I made a cake earlier as well, which is very nice. And um, yeah, just being productive, really. Uh, I'm watching My Fair Lady, the movie of it. Um, it's pretty good so far. I'm kind of, I downloaded a bunch of movies that are um, based on books that I've read recently. So after My Fair Lady, what else have I got? I've got, um, oh, then I've got Where the Crawdads Sing, and then I've got uh, The English Patient as well, which I literally want to read because there's a line about it in a song I cover sometimes, and I've never seen it. Um, so I've got those to watch. Then I've got some Netflix to catch up on as well. I've been working on my audio books. The most exciting news of today is that my neighbours, who I'm pretty sure are drug dealers, uh, I don't really care. I kind of, I'm kind of very live and let live. But yeah, the police came round today, so that was interesting. And that's all I got for you. Go do some more filming, working on some reviews. Hello, it is Thursday the 20th of October. It's currently five past 10 in the evening. I had a couple of calls earlier, another radio show call and a QA for a client. Been being productive, well I didn't sleep too well last night, but I did unlock some new stuff on Mario Kart. I'm trying to like basically complete Mario Kart on the Wii so that everything's unlocked so that Shay and I can play it. Um, I finished reading The Duke of Caladan by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Solid 4 out of 5. Full review coming soon. I've actually filmed part of that today. I'm now reading Little Face by Sophie Hanna, which is okay at best. Um, but it is what it is. And then I've got Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. I finally caught up with all of my jogging and press-ups and all of my exercise and stuff, so that's good. I'm currently making a cake. And that's basically what I got for you. This weekend, hopefully Shay and I are going to um, like an arboretum -y place. I have a bit of a... Weird bald patch in my chin. I've done a pretty shitty job of shaving myself. I did do it in a rush. Maybe I'll go and attempt that again. Hello everybody, I am on a roll here. It's now Friday the 21st of October at 6.15 p.m. I've just learned that it's the acoustic jam at the Rose and Crown, which is one of the jams I like going to. Um, but I'm currently not drinking. I'm actually on seven weeks as of today. Uh, because I didn't know it was happening. If I'd known it was happening, I might have psyched myself up to go, but because I've only just found out, fuck it. Um, I cut my hair yesterday, because it was getting too long, and trimmed my beard. Uh, I'm still reading Little Face by Sophie Hannah. It's pretty good, I guess. Probably a weak 3.5 out of 5. Maybe even a 3 out of 5, actually. It's not that good. Um, it's got better. To begin with, it does, does this like whole hopping backwards and forwards through time thing, and I got lost. You have to pay very close attention to the dates for that, and it that bothers me because I can never be asked to do that, you know. Um, I've just settled in to start watching The English Patient, which I've never seen before, but there's a lyric in a song that I like to cover um, about The English Patient, so I need to watch the movie so I can kind of understand that reference. Uh, I've been watching a lot of my old videos, so my watch later on YouTube. Sorry, I got fluff in my mouth. It's capped at, uh, it gets capped at 5,000 videos. And mine is at 5,000 videos, so rather than watching my subscriptions, I've been watching videos from the other end, uh, from like 2014 or something, just to sort of tick them off, so that um, I've got more space to add new stuff from my subscriptions to it, basically. Um, so that's been good, been watching some like music and things like that. Um, and that's about all I've got for you. I might make a curry later, we'll see. I went to the shop earlier. Fucking wild life that I live, right? Hopefully going to see Shay this weekend, so we're talking about either going to, there's an arboretum in Oxford that we want to visit, or maybe the Bucks Goat Centre, but she's not feeling very well at the moment, so hopefully she feels better soon. So that's where I'm at. Yo, um, okay, it's quarter past nine on Saturday the 22nd of October. I thought I'd filmed a vlog today, but my camera is saying I didn't, maybe I did. You will know as soon as I know, I guess. Um, I finished reading Little Face by Sophie Hannah, it was a three out of five, just that eight. I'm now about halfway through The Giant Horse of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which is Oz book number 22. It's just an Oz book, you know? They're all pretty similar. Um, at this point, there's not really anything original I have to say about each of them, although I have tabbed... I don't know, we've got another good number there. About eight tabs. So there will be a review of that coming eventually. I've been filming lots of other reviews today. At some point, I kind of need to film for a client uh, a presentation that I've made, but it's going to take an hour. And I, I don't know if I fancy an hour of filming straight after I've spent so long filming already trying to catch up, you know. So uh, we will see. Um, hopefully seeing Shay tomorrow. So her aunt who she lives with is going away on holiday about 4am. So I might go round after that. I don't know. We'll see. My sleep's screwed so I woke up at like 5pm today. Um, yeah, we'll see. And then tomorrow I don't know what the plan is. 
maybe go to the Arboretum, maybe see some goats, maybe go to Weatherspoons, maybe do now. I don't know, we'll see. If I'm still awake early, what I might suggest is that I go over to hers, pick her up, we go to Weatherspoons as soon as it opens for some breakfast, and then we go straight off to one of these things to go and do a date, and then we'll get back like early afternoon and then I can sleep, you know? So that's where we're at. Greetings, it is uh, quarter to 10 on the morning of Wednesday the 26th of October. My camera's already flashing low battery at me. Um, I guess I'm gonna keep this vlog going for uh, two weeks because you know how it is. Um, I finished reading whatever it was I was reading last. I'm doing good at this. Oh, uh, the Oz book I was reading, that was like a 3.5 out of five. And I'm currently reading Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood, which is really good. I'm, I've got this like large print edition, which is making me feel as though I'm making more progress in it than I might otherwise have felt. Um, it's very odd. It's like speculative. Where was I? It's like speculative and science fiction uh, mixed together. Uh, jumps backwards and forwards through time, but it kind of makes sense the way it's done, and it kind of investigates like genetic engineering and religion and all kinds of mad stuff. It's uh, really interesting so far. The only book I've read that's kind of like it is The Book of Dave by Will Self, which was also very good. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. I am, I've been listening to some more of The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. I don't know percentage-wise, I'm probably like 15, 20% of the way through, something like that, uh, while I've been doing my jogs. Uh, next up, I'm probably gonna read Micro by Michael Crichton and Richard Preston. Um, in less, because I've ordered the next June book, so that's on its way to me. So if that arrives, I might pick that up first. Uh, my cat's going crazy downstairs, I'm not sure why. Um, Shay is here, she's asleep in the bedroom, so, um, you know, she'll probably watch this video at some point and be like, oh yeah, I remember that. And uh, yeah, we played a bit of Wii last night, just been hanging out, just been having a lovely old time. That's all I got for you. Loads of calls yesterday. I did an, in an interview with somebody for their show. And then I interviewed two people for my radio show. I've actually been editing the radio shows today as well, so I'm pretty much done up to the 15th of November, which is nice to be kind of sorted ahead. I can just hear the cat's claws clicking across the uh, the tile in the kitchen. But yeah, it's nice to be ahead with the radio. Um, I guess eventually I need to get to the point where I'm like done for over Christmas. So then I can relax a little bit but I've got a ton of interviews coming up soon because I put out a bunch of uh, like requests for people to contact me if they wanted to do an interview and lots of people did so I've got like 14 radio <laughs> interviews lined up or something so I'm working on all of those and I think that's all I've got for you I need to do some more tidying I need to do some more work and at some point I should sleep because we didn't really sleep last night hence Shay being asleep now and me being awake this early so once the cleaner's gone she should be she should finish at half one two ish and then I've got an interview at seven So maybe get four hours sleep or something. I don't know. We'll see Catch ya. Hello. It is me. Am I in focus ish? It is um, 6 30 p.m. On Thursday the 27th of October. I'm very tired um, Shay's been staying over for a few days because her aunt is away so you know, she's come to stay here so she can have some company. She's gone back earlier to do to tidy her room and stuff, and she's about to head back now. Um, I have a call at seven till about half eight, so I'm gonna do that, and then I don't know. Then I might need to nap for a couple of hours. We will see. Um, I really should get some work done as well. So I'm gonna try and see what I can do. Excuse me. Done a bit of filming, done a bit of editing. My cleaner came around yesterday and cleaned the place. Still reading Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood, and it's still pretty good. On course for a four out of five. And um, that is all I have to update you on. I am so tired. And I've had like, I've had two coffees and an energy drink, and I'm still just here, just like. Huh. Greetings, it is the 10.22 a.m. on Friday the 28th of October. Didn't sleep particularly well last night, but I was super tired, so I think that is why. Uh, Shay is working at the Arts Centre, she's working two shifts, so I think she's actually working at the mo well, she's there at the moment, I think she's actually working at the launch of the High Wycombe Monopoly, uh, which is very cool, because we're both big Monopoly fans, and the Arts Centre is featured as one of the spaces. Um, then this evening she's working for an Oasis, which is an Oasis tribute band, but it's £20 for a ticket, so I'm probably not going to go, although I was thinking about it. Been being productive, really. I made some toffee apples, and we worked together to make 
carrot cake earlier, so that was good. I finished Oryx and Crake, that was a 4 out of 5. I'm now reading Micro by Michael Crichton and Richard Preston. And it's on course for a 4 out of 5, but it's just annoyed me. There's been the same old argument. Someone's called someone a speciesist for being vegetarian, being like, plants have feelings too, therefore you're a speciesist. But people who make the plants have feelings argument forget that animals are raised by feeding them plants. So actually the amount of plants it takes to feed a vegetarian versus to feed a meat eater, the meat eater is consuming way more plants than the vegetarian because it's all going into the animals and then they're consuming the animal as well. So it just annoys me when people make that argument because it's like a logical fallacy or whatever. So anyway, that bugged me. So I might even downvote, like downrate it because of that. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I need to choose my next book actually. Um, got some of the Robert Galbraith, got some Hemingway, some Peter James. Don't know, we will see. I might get the, I've got the next June book is on its way to me as well, so when that comes I might switch to that. Just having a productive day while Shay's at work, getting some work done myself, doing some filming. I've caught up with all of my editing now, uh, and all of my eBay shit is listed. Well, not all of it, I'm only allowed to list X amount, so I've reached the cap of how much I can list. So I can't list anymore until some stuff sells, but that's okay, because I'm probably making about 100, 200 pound a month selling stuff on eBay at the moment. That's income rather than profit. Profit-wise, it's like 30, 40 quid, not very much, but um, it helps me to clear out some of my shit, you know? So that is where I'm at. And um, I guess I'm going to do some more filming and productivity and stuff. So I will, I will catch you on, on the flippy flip. Hello humans of YouTube. It is currently 4.25pm on Sunday the 30th of October. Clocks went back yesterday so it's already getting dark outside. Um, I'm still reading Micro by Michael Crichton and it is still very good. I'm starting to prep my to-do list for next week as well. Shay stayed over again last night and then headed home this morning, so she's just playing some Sims. I'm just chilling, being productive, housework, all of that stuff. Uh, it's Biggie's birthday tomorrow, so we're having a mini party. We've got him a couple of uh, tr uh, like presents. We've got him a card, and we've got a little cake topper that says Biggie on it that we're gonna we're gonna make a cake and put that in it for him. So that is the plan. But um, I think this seems like a good place to end this week's vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.